friends now we have to learn how to evaluate sin 30 plus cos 45 plus tan 180 friends don't forget to subscribe our channel because here we are trying to cover each and every problem of mathematics from class 1st to class 12 with English explanation as well as Hindi explanation. So friends, subscribe our channel and now see the next video. Now to evaluate sin 30 plus cos 45 plus tan 180 First, we have to find trigonometric values of these functions. Friends, I don't believe on any by hat system to find these trigonometric values. Also, I don't like any special tricks to remember these trigonometric values. I have strong belief on concept. Always, we have to find value of any trigonometric function by using concept. Though, in starting, you will feel that it, it is very time wasting or it is very boring but after practice you will get answers very fast so friends let's see by concept now we have to first find the value of sine 30 so we have to draw one right angle triangle having angles 30 60 and 90 We know the ratio of these sides, side opposite to 30 is 1, then hypo is 2, means opposite to 90, and side opposite to 60 is root 3. This is a common ratio for 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Now, we have to find value of sin 30. We know sin 30 means opposite side upon hypo. Now here, opposite of 30 is 1 and hypo is 2, so value of sin 30 is 1 upon 2. Now we have to find value of cos 45. So to understand it properly, we have to draw one triangle having angles 45, 45, 90. We know the ratio of length of sides of 45, 45, 90. It is 1 is to 1 is to root 2. Now see, cos 45 means what? Cos 45 means adjacent side upon hypo. Now here, Adjacent side of 45 is 1 and hypo is root 2. So we can write value of cos 45 as 1 upon root 2. Now we have to find value of tan 180, tangent of 180. So we have to draw a standard unit circle in our coordinate system. Now we have measured 180 degree angle see this yellow arc 180 degree lies on negative direction of x axis it intersects our circle at one point q having coordinates minus 1 comma 0 that means sin 180 is 0 and cos 180 is minus 1 sin 180 is 0 and cos 180 is minus 1 and so we can say value of tan 180 which is ratio of sin and cos so value of tan 180 is 0 upon minus 1 that is 0. 0 upon minus 1 that is 0. Now see third term is 0. That means now we have to add first two terms. But these two terms have different denominators. So we have to make them same. So multiplying second term, multiplying its numerator and denominator both by root 2, we get first term 1 upon 2 plus second term root 2 upon 2. Now these two terms have same denominator so we can add numerators. But in numerator one the first term's numerator is rational and second term's numerator is irrational root 2. So we get 1 plus root 2 upon common denominator 2. So this is the value of g1 trigonometric function 1 plus root 2 upon 2 friends solve this problem again in your notebook 
no need to draw proper diagrams for it just draw rough diagram short diagrams to understand you properly